Boom, hello, we play viewers. And I'm on a different phone, so I have to learn where not to stick my finger. So as you can see, there's uh, something doesn't look quite right here with this dock. This ramp is, uh, is pointing up. Hi, Clint. This ramp is pointing up, and it shouldn't be pointing up. It should be pointing down. But you can see they've, they've experienced uh, flooding here before. Here's how people get around tooting around. So they've experienced flooding here before and well yeah I haven't gone I just didn't have anything to show you all until until I guess yesterday was was the worst this today's the worst of it and then tomorrow's a rainy day so I can't show you it tomorrow uh, but they've they've had floods here before and so they have these wooden blocks under the, the ramp so if it if the water gets too high the uh, the hoses that are underneath don't get uh, get crushed um, but if you look at the end here, I'm going to take a little walk too, so, so bear with me. We'll, we'll go see a few other things too. But obviously this, that's a bad angle. This thing here is now a, now a step up, so let's take a step up. It's very unusual to walk downhill when you're supposed to walk uphill. Here's, you can see how bad things are when this, uh, this electrical outlet's about to, to get soaked. Uh, these lights come on automatically at night so I, I hope they've disabled that circuit over here you can see uh, just how how high everything is often the distance there into the Sun is the the staging point where the forklifts drop boats into the water and that's almost uh, underwater you can also see uh, what's a good example you can see the pilings here there's, there's not very not much left of them. Uh, normally you would stand next to one of those pilings and, and you'd have to reach your arm up quite a way to get to the top of it, if, if that. Uh, so if the water came up another two feet, this entire dock would float away. Uh, but the water's not coming up another two feet. At least, at least I hope not. So here's another sign of uh, about the boat that sunk. The boat that sunk, Mike, is is or we'll go back to where I just was. The boat that sunk is over behind the building. Is the last time I, I haven't really looked. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go around. Uh, I'm going to go down as far as I can and see if it's still still over there. It was resting on uh, on something. Uh, there's a lot of noise in this marina from, from various things they do, and no, there's a, there's a green one that just came out today, so they might have cut it up, or, or something. It's, it's been, it's been a while, so, you know, you don't want, you don't want a piece of trash really just sitting around. I didn't think to ask anybody in the office, it's just one of those things, it's, it's behind the building and and kind of out of sight, out of mind situation. Uh, the exciting part was the sinking and, and plucking it out of the water. It's very strange walking downhill up that ramp. So I have my microphone on. Hopefully the uh, these noisy air conditioners. These are my my nemesis. I hear these all 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 the time, and it just came on. So what I wanted another thing to show you that was kind of fun. So last night, you're welcome. Oh, by the way, here's here's where if you're in the south, you have to check where you stand because you don't want to stand on an ant nest. So normally I could just keep on walking down this little slope. Uh, last night when I went to bed, when I got when I went start went to start dinner, this sign was still dry. So the water's come up maybe uh, four or five inches since since uh, about 12 hours or 24 hours ago. But I think this might be the worst of it, um, or at least very close to the worst of it. Uh, but normally you could just walk down and stand next to that sign. So it looks like the water's up probably six, I don't know, I'll make a guess, six feet, something like that. So that's that's my situation over here. You can see this dock is is sticking up, Caddy Wumpus. Uh, the pilings are almost uh, 
well, whoever put those pilings in shouldn't have put them in so short. See, there's, there's a couple wooden ones here, which I don't quite, quite understand why there's a mixture of two types. The wooden ones are, are taller, but they're still probably not tall enough. Um, so, situation normal for anybody that's on a boat in this section. So that, that, dock, that, that dock there also, also goes, goes up. And then we'll take a little walk. See, there's, there's another alligator sign in the distance. Uh, not, not submerged. Here comes a friend. Oop, there goes a friend. Sniffing around. I'll take you a little walk out here. Hopefully the signal holds up. I always, oh, by the way, I always like these things. You see these, these are always, always pretty. Yeah, well, the, the rain's been running, it's been raining for, for four weeks. This is day three of, of no rain. And in the last two weeks, it was somewhere between eight and, eight and 12 inches. Not quite so much at the coast, but inland. And all that water has to come through one of three places. And I'm in one of those three places. South Carolina drainage is extremely bad. So it doesn't take a whole lot to cause a, a bunch of trouble. Let me watch out. See, these, they, uh, they've put this, put this seat sideways, so I have to watch out a little bit. So the people that are affected in the worst situation is over here. There's a few people that actually live on their boats over here. And you can see that that ramp is, is completely unusable. The, uh, the end you're supposed to go down on is, is jutting up in the air and the end that's hinged is submerged. So normally these people have use of golf carts because you can see there's no, there's no path. It's, it's underwater. Uh, so normally the way to get from that little section to the main building, which you just saw, is with a golf cart, which they, they have a couple stationed here. Uh, but the dock box is underwater, the uh, the electrical box is underwater. Oh, is the Noose River having trouble too? That's too bad. So so a bunch of people are on these boats and and the only way they can get off their boat is is <laughs> by some other boat. Um, and I'm looking around the uh, the marina owns a boat, and I've seen that being used, and there's a little rubber dinghy over there, so someone's come in in their rubber dinghy. They've also been coming in next to me in, uh, and tying up over there, but I don't know why they wouldn't go to the closer spot first. So I wouldn't want to be one of those unfortunates. You're, you're on your boat, and, and they've turned off the electricity. Uh, so <laughs> circumstances are a bit difficult. Hello, oh, I haven't seen you for a long time, Ski. Well, I haven't seen anybody for a long time, because they haven't done a broadcast. Uh, so anyway, <coughs> I'm losing my voice. I, uh, I don't do a lot of talking these days. I try to keep away from people. So that's the section that's affected the most. I think this is going to be a short broadcast, because no one's asking questions. There's not much to ask. It's just, oh, oh let's look at this. I just noticed this. These, uh, these odd-looking sausages are giant uh they, there's am i going somewhere after scope ends i i can that, that's the trouble you know I, I could try twitter but i don't have any followings on twitter um i could try haps but but how do you how do you get discovered on haps um there's a thing called you now but but nobody knows about it um so i might i might try things but but basically all the people that that love to watch my scopes are here and yes, oil booms, fuel booms, and and if I move somewhere else, you know, just finding people. Yep. So so someone did a little bit of uh, of of cleaning out. Maybe this box got soaked. You can see uh, they've put these <laughs> these these life jackets. Normally, you can stand underneath this roof, and they they put these life jackets on a few days ago, so you wouldn't bump your head. 
and and now you don't even have the option of bumping your head. You'd have to <laughs> you have to duck pretty low to bump your head. Uh, so it's been this this water has been coming up slowly for quite a while, for about a week. It just takes a very long time for all the all the water that's inland to to work its way out, and then it piles up trying to to get out to the ocean. And and there's not too many exits to the ocean in in South Carolina. Tough circumstances. So, were they calling for the crest? Uh, I think it was maybe last night or tonight or, or right around now. Uh, so someone asked when I was starting. I arrived here on the 20th of October. So that means I leave. I've been paying month by month. So that means I leave on the 21st. And the next 21st is in March, which is, which is fine with me. Hopefully, we've, we've just had three nice days in a row. And it's the first three nice days... Uh, there's been four nice days the whole year. Uh, most of the last most of the last month has been raining and, and cold and miserable. Um, so I don't mind waiting a little while longer into the end of March. Yep, good time. Well, there's going to be more. The, well, the reason I'm scoping today is there's more rain coming tomorrow. Uh, and and then off and on for the next few days. And, and, you know, I've gotten to the point where I just don't. You know, I don't check the forecast too much because it's it's been been lousy for so long. Um, so I've I've shown you my little flood situation, and I don't know what else to say. Just wanted to give you give you all something to uh, to see. I'm still here. I'll be scoping as much as I can up until the end. I've been. Uh, I just started yesterday doing screen recordings of all the scopes I've saved. And that's a bit tedious. I, I wish there was a way to download them and also have the chats, but so far I haven't, haven't found a way. Um, but it's nice to see you all. I miss you all. And I really wish Periscope wasn't... <laughs> yes, I wish, 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 wish Periscope wasn't ending, but it is. And I was looking at my, my earliest scopes. And boy, the fun fun times we had, the fun times we had back in 2016, 2017. Yes, my username is the same on Twitter, and and I I figured out how to to broadcast on Twitter. But no one's gonna find me on Twitter. This you know, we'd have to start all over again. Um, so, you know, I might I might try various things, but they're all, you know, unless you tell everybody where you're going in advance, then no one's going to know how to find you. So, you know, I've, I've seen a little bit of HAPS broadcast and all those things scrolling across the top of the screen put me off. Well, anyway, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. So let's see what people purchased most recently. Uh, nothing, nothing big here. $5, $26. And I saw them filling up. A, I should have checked this yesterday. They filled up two giant tanks. So this is only $100. No, $225. That's maybe, you know what? I bet they filled up the two tanks yesterday. And each tank was 50 gallons. And then they pulled them away with a, a golf cart and had some trouble. Anyway, let's find something to end the, the scope on. Let's see if there's some example of, of flooding. I'll go back to the alligator sign. I will say it's very nice to have have some some pleasant weather for a change. Kind of forgotten what it was like. Yeah, I'm not on Facebook. I never I never got into Facebook. That's probably the best option for for many people. What's the price of fuel there? <laughs> now you're gonna make me go all the way back. No, all right, I'm gonna go all the way back. Should have been paying it. Should have been paying attention. So, I, I have heard that fuel has gone up in price because the uh, the trouble in Texas and the refineries probably not being able to do their thing. All right. So, anyone that's not in the U.S., this is this is U.S. gallons and and. Um, Price two twenty five for diesel, 
and that's probably there's two kinds of fuel that's probably the fuel that doesn't get taxed because it's off-road and then gas 263 I saw the fuel truck here today so if I had been here yesterday that that price would have been a lot lower yeah well you know this place I think has has reasonable prices because they do no, not right now it's winter there's nothing happening really but in this normal season they do a lot of business so they have they have higher volume and they can give you a lower price but those those places on lakes oh my goodness they, they get so little few customers or they make all their money in the summer that they just uh, over overcharge you and, and there's no if you if you're on a lake well so you're gonna go yeah everything's gonna go up uh, but Texas will bounce back. Lake's still frozen, oh, for sure. Oh, there we are by the air conditioners again. Oh, I was going to end my, my scope on the alligator sign. I'm getting a little absent-minded here. And then I'm going to go back to doing more screen recordings. Uh, the trouble with the screen recordings is, is I can do the screen recordings, but I can't, I can't process them as fast as I can make them. So it's going to be a while before I, I can put everything up on YouTube. So anyway, there's the uh, alligator sign. Thanks everybody for coming in, all, all six of you. And, and if, I have, if there's anything else that interest, interesting happens here, I'll, I'll show it to you. Yeah, okay. Well, it's too bad. So everyone take care, and we'll, there will be a next time. I'll see you later.